with that curly ass hair. <laughs> yeah, nigga. That's what you do with your elder barge hair, nigga. Yeah, Coolie man. Of course you're going to say elder barge. Nah, Coolie man. Coolie man, like, bro. Yeah. If you were Jamaican, you'd be Coolie. You know what Coolie is. Coolie is. You don't uh, know what a Coolie is? A Coolie. That's not gay, right? No, no, no. Coolie. A Coolie is like in Jamaican, like Jamaicans, if you Coolie is like, like your complexion with like your hair. Like oh, oh yeah, yeah. Curly yeah. hair. Like curly hair. I am Jamaican saying? for real though. You My wife's Jamaican. Jamaican. My that wife don't make Jamaican. you Jamaican. I like Jamaican. You just know a Jamaican. I, I like Jamaican. I'm married to a Jamaican. Jamaican. That don't make you Jamaican. That make my daughter Jamaican. Yeah, you're not your daughter. So? <laughs> <laughs> I like Jamaica. I go there twice a year. That's great. Yeah, you talking about some... So I don't go there. Nah, nah, I did. Yeah, I used to. I used to. <laughs> I did last year. Not, well, the year before last. What up, man? What's up, bro? What's poppin'? What's up, man? I see you been outside. You feel me? Outside. Hey, you you back in the field? No, I'm not in the field. Bro, you back in the field, bro. Not in no field, bro. Bro, what you mean? Like, you was just in Philly, right? I, you know, <laughs> in Philly? You was outside. That's your old roots. You even told me. Like, I used to be with Benny single, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was in Philly really... because my friend is on trial with the feds. That's what I was in Philly for. Wait, what? So what, you went to the case? Like, you went to I court? went to the trial. I went to, yeah. And how was that? Damn, bro, you just made it dark. I ain't crazy. make it dark. You, you making it light out of some shit that's dark for me. How the fuck I made it dark? Damn. You you talking about some yo? I seen you in the field. You was in Philly. Uh, nigga, it wasn't a good time. Like, man, how, how's he going? Like, what's going on? Man, you know, it's it's shit niggas gotta go through, man. Damn. That's the most I can say. It's things people gotta go through. Is he a rapper? No, bro. I don't hang out with rappers. Like, you, like, nigga. All right, let me let me ask you a question. If you worked at Chick Fil A, right? <laughs> if you worked at Chick Fil A, I still would eat Chick Fil A. I'm not saying you would eat Chick Fil A. If you worked at Chick Fil A, and you now you you leave the job, right, and mm -hmm. you somewhere else, do you want to hear shit about chicken, bro? I mean, if I'm a if, nah, yo, exactly. no, 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 no. Exactly. What I'm saying no. is, if I work for Chick Fil A and I'm like a real big time employee, yeah, that's what I love to do. That's a what I'm talking about. Employee. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause some niggas love their jobs. Like, if that was me, like, I love to talk about chicken. Like, I'm gonna tell you why you should eat more chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little the cow and shit. Like, I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'm fucking around, but nah, it was. I mean, it was. It was. I mean. Bro, I went to Philly just because, you know, I went to go support my bro. And then my other little homie, he just came home from doing uh four years. So I just wanted to go see him and shit. Damn, bro. Mm -hmm. You really you really got mob ties. No, it's not. We not no mob. Like, niggas ain't got no mob, bro. You really <laughs> a gangster. Like, you really lived that I life. I ain't no gangster, bro. You said my man just got out for doing a, a, a half a life bid. And then my man. Like four years. Like. You see how you, see how you put extra <laughs> extra sprinkles on shit? I got something. Yeah. <laughs> get the people going, bro. Yeah, get the people going, right? <laughs> the headlines. Like, like wait, wait no, no. Just, this man just did a half a light. Like, then my man gonna be like, yo, why you telling niggas I did? Like, you feel me? I'm gonna look stupid out nah, here. Nah, they don't care about me that much, bro. They care about you. They I'm care good. about you. I be seeing, bro, you, 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 you on the algorithm. A little bit. A little bit. Nah, ain't no little bit. See, that's the problem with niggas, man. You want to minimize your shit a little bit. Nah, you doing shit, bro. Here comes this old nigga shit. I'm yeah. not minimizing shit. I'm Good. just the realest. How does that be? How does that be in real? What is that about old nigga shit? Because you know. minimizing yourself. I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing a little, you know, I'm trying. You one of them trying <laughs> niggas. Yo, you doing good shit. I'm trying. Nah, I don't be like that. You don't be like that? Hell no. All right. I be doing that shit. What you talking about? All right. <laughs> All right. Like, we, we doing that shit. Yo, what's going on? Last time I felt like we talked about a bunch of like emotional shit. Yeah. It was good though. Sometimes life is emotional. The fuck? Yeah. It was good. But I was like, damn, like I looked at it, I'm like, this is good. This is too good. Like shit. Yeah, I mean it's it was cool. Like life ain't Skittles every day. You feel me? Like yeah, she ain't all happy, but she ain't all sad neither. You feel nah, me? facts, facts, facts. Yo, um, I seen a uh, what is it called? The um, the music group, the company they land off people. Everybody's laying. Yeah, because I'm gonna say it's more. I seen uh, it's, Universal it's, Music Group, right? It's, yeah, but then, but then I then seen gotta, Sony. Yeah, but then you got to think like when it's when you say Universal, then you got Def Jam, you got Republic. You got so like all the yeah, there's certain subsidiaries under it. You you say you say Sony, you got Epic, you got RCA, you got Columbia. You know what I mean? Oh, so it's like okay, okay. when you say Sony, it's not just one thing. It's like mad different. Yeah. Wait, so Sony and Universal is kind of like similar when it comes to that, like the yeah, big companies. Nigga, what? Sheesh. Nigga, what planet you live on? You talking about is Sony and Universal big companies? Like, yeah. No, I'm saying I know. Don't they, you have? Don't everybody in? Uh, don't almost everybody you know have at least one Sony product in their crib? 
I'm pretty sure. Don't everybody go watch some sort of like movie that's Universal Studios? Or... I'm sure they do, bro. Yeah, I'm just they saying, big I didn't companies. know that, like, because like you said, Universal, you got other ones underneath. I didn't know yeah. it was Universal, and then Sony like the same thing, like a yeah, they music. big entities, and then they got they got film. So who's music. under Sony? Who's under? So I just told you, Epic, Ep okay. RCA, um, Epic, RCA, and uh, Columbia. And uh, Orchard, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of different companies. So am I wrong for thinking like technically when it says Sony and Universal Music Group laying people off, that's technically not that bad because there's a lot of companies underneath. No, it is, bro. It, it's bad to get laid off, bro. Yeah, fact, that's, it's just bad to get laid off. Yeah, like, that was insensitive. Yeah. And then you got Warner. You know what I mean? Well, Warner is Atlantic. They um, laying people off too. Everybody's laying people for off, what, bro. What though? I, fuck if I know. I'm just fuck happy. You, I ain't... This is your shit, nigga. All right, so look, you think, look, I'm, I'm in this shit, right? You think I wake up? With an email that says, "Hey, yo, this is why everybody's being laid off." No, I don't work. Know. I, I don't work would... for them companies. They, the thing is, bro, is that music is weird. Like, first of all, rap is like in a crazy space right now because you can't really determine what's gonna go or what's not because there's all types of stupid shit that goes and there's all types of real shit that doesn't mm -hmm. or people think it's substance or whatever. So it's like we in this this weird ass space where, you know. People always call it like, oh, talent, and they say, oh, these people ain't talented versus these people. But ultimately, bro, it's just a weird time. Nobody knows what the fuck is about to happen. Mm. No, I, I seen. It's funny that you said that. Not to get off track, but um, I think Joe was talking about how he was like, he think it's over for like this female rap era, like the, yeah. like he was like basically like the rap cities, the the girls that be spitting is gonna stay, but like the other chicks won't fade away type shit. I mean, I mean yeah, listen. He just that's what he want. <laughs> you know what I mean? But but I think I think it's just oversaturated. I think it's I think it's, I think the pussy rap shit is oversaturated. Like I feel like like if I go on the gram right now and we just pick like let's say we find if I say yo, send me ten artists, ten, mm -hmm. 10 female artists I never heard. If we get ten of them, like pretty sure out of the ten, almost all ten is gonna have the same subject matter. Yeah. It, it it's very rare that you find City Girls did this shit. I them. mean, it, I mean, th th that's one way to look at it. You know what I mean? They but it's sparked the whole like, granted, people been women rapping been, about women, pussy. Women, women been rapping about pussy forever. Yeah, so that's, Foxy Brown, Lil but, Kim. but rap changed too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm City girls did that shit. Okay, you keep saying that for what? Like, I'm just saying they. they, they <laughs> boys, you gotta give them their props. I mean, the props. Like, I mean, shit. I don't. Know. I think, but at this at, at at one point in time, like that shit worked for them. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was telling me the other day I was on live. My man, shout out my guy GS One. He was like. He like Lotto better than Sexy Red. I, I think Lotto's a better rapper than Sexy Red. I mean, of course. That's how is it? Of course, she can rap. Sexy Red can't rap. Rap is subjective, though. Oh, brother! Like rap is not subjective. Like you know, it's rap is not subjective. You know, it's somebody can rap or not. That's not true, bro. Because because oh what? Gosh. How? It, all right, look. Let me tell you how it's subjective. Music is subjective, bro. Would music you, is subjective. Rap music is, is not. Yes, it is. Because guess what? Everybody, because you know what? People got different palettes. Some people want it. Some people can't digest rap that comes in a form of like metaphors and like, you know what I mean? The heaviest bars and all that. Some people can't digest that shit. To some people, simple shit is their best shit. You from the west side of what? The Bronx? I'm not from the west side. The east side of the. Oh, that's I'm not like, from the west side. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? You know what that means. I don't know what that means. You a cruddy ass nigga. I'm not a cruddy <laughs> nigga, bro. What does you that have to, said it. What does that have to do with what we talking about? Because what I'm saying is, yo, how the fuck you a New York nigga? You gonna talk about something? It's subjective. Like you you're supposed to know what good rap is. Like you know what good music is. Rap, bro. rapping, rapping. That's what it's I'm niggas about. that could rap. That's trash though. Like it's niggas that could rap. That could look. Think about it like this. It's niggas that can rap really well, mm -hmm. but can't make a song True. that's tolerable. I'm with Wait that. a second. Yeah. It's niggas that can rap very, very well that could... I ask them right now, 40 bars. Niggas are getting 40 bars of hell, nigga. Greatest 40 bars you ever heard. Give me a solid 16 and a good 8-bar hook, and a nigga can't do it to save his fucking life. No, nah, I'm with you. I'm so that's saying, why I'm saying it's subjective. Say, but it you still can say that's good. He could rap good. He just can't make a song. But it depends. But but it depends. That's why I'm saying it depends on what you're looking at is good rap. Some people, if all right, that person that could probably rap crazy like that can't probably can't make a good album. Right, I get that, and that makes sense. But that but if they can't make a if if, if rap, he can't make a good album, that don't mean standard, he can't rap though. If my standard for rap is you making a good album. But your standard is just that you can rap. How is that not subjective? Okay. I'm music is subjective, rap is not. If you can rap, you can rap. All right. But what I was saying is, of course, uh Lotto can rap better than Sexy Red. But like basically what we talking about, 
Sexy Red songs way better. Say it's subjective. It's it's subjective. Fucking. It's subjective. Name us a lotto song that's better than a, a sexy red song. Put it on the floor. Rip me out the plastic. I mean, that that song is say, you, you that, that song ain't fire. No, I finish it. No, I'm not gonna say all that. But that's song I had to say because you don't know shit. So I had to like bring you up to speed. But no, that's on that fire though. I, I'm trying to remember this. That's on that fire. Well, how it go? All right, here you go. <laughs> This nigga want me to be his 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 dummy, just say shit on demand. Like, rip me out the plastic. I've been acting, bro. That's how you was acting, right? When that shit came out. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's, that's how curly haired niggas act. But look, no bullshit. That she she got another song. Every Sunshine, sexy red song. Sunshine, but that's why I'm saying it's subjective, bro. Because see, I like Lotto's music better than I like Sexy Red's music. You but that don't smoking mean dope. All right. You like you not you're not even giving me an opportunity to say wh- the reason why Go I ahead, like bro. the music, right? Go ahead, bro. I didn't say I don't like Sexy Red's music. Cause Sexy Red got I love Ski E. I think that that's a great song. I love Shake Your Dreads, even though I never had dreads a day in my life and can't get them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like uh what's what's another song? I actually like Pound Town. I like that song. Me too. What right? are you talking about? Right? But at the same time, what I'm saying is is that when it come to, to to Lotto, I she's a better rapper, and to me, she just makes better music. She don't make better music. How do, she can rap better? What's music? Oh my gosh, with this fucking stop trying to you're give me a You're contradicting yourself. No, I'm not. I'm you're saying contradicting she can yourself. rap. She's she's a good rapper. I think she's a better rapper than 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 Sexy Red. But she don't make better songs than Sexy Red. You go to the club right now, the nobody club, is the saying... The fucking club, bro. bro because you're club, 50, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It don't have nothing to do with me being 50. It's 50-year-old niggas in the club trying to hang out with 30-plus-year-old niggas like you. You act like you're 22. You're old, nigga. I don't know if nobody gave you a newsflash, but you're not the... Like, you go to spring break right now, you look crazy. Yeah. So I just want you to know, I when know, you're referring to me as this old nigga, guess what? You're right next to Let me. Let me get my shit off. No, you because you keep trying to <laughs> diss me, nigga. Listen... <laughs> Go listen, ahead. listen, bro. That's why I'm saying rap is subjective. If your gauge, listen, if your gauge of music is the club, then that tells me you don't know a lot about music. No, that's not my gauge. You what said, I'm no, no, you said, if your first example was, if you go to the club right now, ain't nobody, don't tell me, but hold up a second, don't tell me that they not playing Lotto in the club, nigga, because that tells me you not in the club at I'm all. I'm not in the club, but what okay, I'm telling so you So what is, are we talking no, about? No, what I'm telling you What is, are we talking about? I'm joking, first of all, but what I'm telling you on a serious note, I don't think that... Lotto makes better songs than Sexy Red right now in our generation when we talk about the music with Our Pursuit. generation? Sexy Red started last year. Yo, right our now? Genera- the- Ge- you talking about generation? Okay, not generation. In our time of in music time, making right now. Music making yes, right now? Yes. One year? Yes. One, one year. year. She yes. jumped over her I think, in one yes, year. Yes, I think. One, and one year, right, if you want to be technical, if you want to be technical, right, man. if you want to be technical, All right. Sexy Red All right. has more bangers in her 10 year of making music up until this point. 10 year of making music. Then when, See, I don't want to make this sound like I'm dead because I no, like no, Sexy no, no, Red. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. But bro, no, I, I, like, I like Sexy Red, point, but like you're you just not a music person. Me, That's why finish, you talk the way you let talk. Let me finish, let me finish my point. Sexy Red, technically, if you want to be technical, has more bangers at this moment in her career in one year than Cardi B had in her career in one year. Cardi. There she did, yes. And Cardi B, one in one year, what she may, maybe had Red Bars, she had... uh. Maybe Bodak Yellow and what's the other song? Uh, Ride Down on the Bitch Twice. Sexy Red in her one year of making music has had... What are had, you talking about? Bro, I'm saying, t- she's, she's holding it down. She's doing great. I think Nobody her music said is, she was in going I'm great. saying I think she makes better music than Lotto right now. Bro, I'm going to tell you... Uh, listen, I'm going to tell you what type of music nigga you is. Tell me what type You are radio you and playlist nigga. That's what you is. I'm keeping it a band, bro. Use a nigga that I'm, I'm just... Listen, this is Lotto my assessment. Is this is... Hold up a second. This is my set. This is my assessment of you. You are a radio and playlist nigga. What comes on the radio and what you can find, search easily, on is, rap, what, is, what, tell, lit, what, is what tells playlist. you is was dope. That's what tells you yeah, what's dope. The, I look at the lit, it's lit playlist, the it, rap that, playlist. That, that, that says everything, bro. That's not what I fucking look at. That's, that's what, that says <laughs> that's, everything. That's not what I look at. So where you get your music from? How do you discover music? Exactly. <laughs> no, not exactly. Yeah, it's the not, radio. No, I don't listen. No, radio. No, you know it's funny. You don't listen to the radio. No, hell no. You don't hell listen to the radio no. at all. No. Right. Not not even a little. You bit. don't. You, I mean, not enough. No. Not even at all. No. But it, but I was ask. I was about to say is, the funny thing about it is the things I listen to is the people I like. Like for example, I like La Russell. I don't think they playing him on the radio. They don't play La Russell. On a, he's not trying to be a radio. Right. Artist. But that's what I'm saying. I like La Russell. A lot of the things I'm listening to is shit that I like. So I'm listening to a lot of old shit. So let me ask you a question. We're saying La Russell because you brought up a you. You brought up a, a very, very, very interesting 
person. V- no, very, very interesting subject. You said that Sexy Red has more bangers in one year than this person, that person, that person. Yes. Would you say, with that being said, would you say that Sexy Red makes better music than La Russell? Mm. Why are you playing? So- I'm not playing. See, I'm just, oh, bro. I, all right, all right. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you exactly what I gave you. All I'm giving you is the information you're giving me. Because by your metrics, let me tell you something, bro. By your metrics, you're saying that if it's in the club and if it's ringing off, then that's what matters, right? You're saying if that if it's in a club and it's ringing off, that's what matters. Now, the songs that you mentioned, right, mm-hmm. are the, mo- the more popular songs. That's why- That get the people going. Hold on. Are the popular songs that you know from a sexy red. You never listened to Lotto's album, did you? No, I haven't. All right, that that so so again, that's why I said what I said about you because guess what? You didn't listen to Sexy Red's project either. I did. You listened to a whole project top to bottom? Uh probably not top to bottom, but I listened to it. But this is what I'm saying. And I, and I was, but oh, the thing that rings and out I to felt you felt bad the, because I liked it. The thing that rings out to you is only the songs that that are the singles. Not nothing else. Like you're not bringing up yo the reason why I think that she makes better music is because of her overall body of work. You just saying that the so, so and by that metric, right? Singles is what makes so, the best artist. Okay, so to your argument, what I'm saying is mm-hmm. cuz we talked about I was saying music is subjective. I don't think rap is subjective because clearly in my mind, Lotto is a way better rapper than a lot of these girls. A lot. Like not even the close. The niggas too. Yeah, facts. Like I I would never disagree with that. She can rap her ass off. When I'm saying music is subjective because to me, I feel like even if I had to say does if she makes better music than La Russell, that's crazy. But why is far that as, crazy? If that's what you like, yeah, because I like I like La Russell. You know but, 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 but I'm saying, as far as my metrics, right? Yeah, if we're talking about things that hit, things that hit, I would have to say, yeah. If I'm if I'm measuring by my metrics, right? Since we have, I was just joking, but if we're measuring by my metrics, but I those would your have, metrics though, even yeah, if you're I mean, joking I, or not. I was really mm, uh, you got serious. I was just playing. What I'm not getting serious. So, I'm just so, saying we having a it's discussion. Fine, it's fine. So seriously. I think Sexy Red is really good at making hit songs like bangers. Yeah, I wouldn't and dispute I think that's that. A, that's a skill, though. But I wouldn't dispute that. But what I'm saying is, is that you, uh, this is the thing, you brought up Sexy Red Lotto. Yes, that's what you brought up. Yes, right. I just said that I think that Lotto makes better music. I don't think so. Wait a second. I'm just I'm I'm giving you what you said versus why I said why we even got to this whole discussion. I said that Lotto makes better music mm-hmm. than Sexy Red. You. What you gauge as music for you is the singles. Yes. Right? Now, with that being said, we not going to act like Lotto ain't do, um, um, what's that song? Fre- she did Freaky Girl Over. She did, um, the Queen of the South. Uh, Queen, running, I think, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a, th- yeah. yeah, bitch from the South. From yeah. the South. Yeah, that was good. That was Big good Dick one. Energy ain't my favorite song, but it was her, her biggest hit. You know what I mean? That's she did fact. the she did the song with uh, what was the song with Cardi B? That's oh, put it on the floor. Oh, yeah, that shit. So, so that was, this is what I'm saying. I'm just giving you the same information you gave crazy. me. So again, that was crazy. She, Lotto got hit. Re- this is what I'm saying. I'm like, you acting like like she don't have hit records. Again, I, I, I think his. I think what he was saying was that in the span of one year, though. In the span of in a the, year. In the span I of that's a moving year. the goalposts. I think no. So what I'm saying is okay. so. So that's what I, what I was post. saying, my man said he likes Lotto music better than Sexy Red. Mm-hmm. That could be subjective, right? Yeah. Again, a lot of this is just me exaggerating, making jokes. But if we're having a serious conversation, mm-hmm. let's not get it fucked up. Lotto is like that. I would I would never deny that, 100%. But what I was saying, in a span of a year, people like people been trying to shit on Sexy Red. I was once, too, a Sexy Red hater. I was. Yeah. Me. I hated the shit. But now I'm listening like, the shit, she got bangers and she ain't stopping. And what I'm saying is, if we want to be technical... Yes, Bodak Yellow was a was a like Cardi B was hot. It's one of the biggest records of ever. all time. Yeah, so 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 am I measuring it wrong? Some would say, yeah, I get it. But what I'm saying is technically she has more bangers than when Cardi B. But first I'm, I'm gonna keep it hundred. This is why I'm gonna keep it hundred, bro. This these conversations just like this is why like people be riffing. Yeah, but that's what it's for. Is to get the people going. I guess, but I I just feel like cause cause this is the thing, right? Even with Sexy Red, she's not an overnight success. You like uh-huh. you could look at years of her grinding when nobody knew who she was, and she was doing music at yeah, all the time. Sure. So she grinded her. That's one thing I do respect about it. Like, cause regardless if like the subject matter sometimes is way out there. You know what I'm saying? Like her subject matter is crazy. So it's like what works for one person, but what mm. might not work for the next. But she grinded to that point. What I'm saying is, is that 
when somebody has a good year, I'm just not leapfrogging them over. I'm, I'm I just can't leapfrog her over somebody so else. I'm not trying to leapfrog. I get what you're saying. That's not my 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 aim. My aim is to really just give. I want to give her respect because I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on her. People like even the nigga B dot right. Like B-Dot, even, but B dot go ahead because so, I talk to B dot every day. But go ahead. He been saying some bullshit takes lately. Like, even, no, not just him, because a lot of people said they felt like Lotto should have won Female Artist of the Year over uh, Sexy Red, and that's bullshit. That's complete. How is, but, but how, is, listen, this this is what I'm trying to tell you, bro. How, the reason why, even with, you know why B-Dot said what he said? Because he says no woman is rapping better than her. Now, look, now, when you, songs, you have, it's subjective, because you could stack up, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Sexy Red, she she getting her shit together. She got records. But we not going to negate Lotto's work ethic. Wait a second. Her mm-hmm. work ethic and her body of work. Like when she when she when she puts the pen to the pad, bro, people enjoy to hear her rap. So when we talk about B Dot's whole thing is best rapper. Like the same way you said rap isn't subjective, best rapper, right? Yes. He's saying if you put this person versus this person as rapping, yes, skill. Influence all of that, and you add the the main ingredient is rap. You're not beaten. It's not, and I'm so that's not that. a crazy. I, I'm a, I'm so a, I'm so agree that, that take he says is not crazy to me. Okay, you know all I mean? I'm saying is I'm just I'm I'm champion for sexy red. I don't care because I was okay. a hater. We spent way a, too much time on this. We're good. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying I'm champion for sexy red because I was a hater and I'm not no more. And okay. I think that everybody. Well, you just a hater. Be, that's cool every, for you to just say that no, you a hater. Everybody should be talking about that pussy pick and that booty hole brown. And I and I think that's fair. I think it's. I think she's fire. She makes bro. I like you said. I am old. I am old. I right? know that you old. Nigga. And when I go to the club, I haven't been there in a minute. Last time I went to the club, it was nostalgic because they played "Looking for the Hoes," and it reminded me of a time when I was in the club and Bodak Yellow came on. It was a similar feeling. Mm, okay. That shit came on, and the whole temperature changed yeah, in but the can club. Can we both agree? Can we both agree? That when people talk about the club, right? Like people act like when you talk about music and people talk about the club, they act as like like the club is the only place. It's not the standard of rap. It, that's what I'm saying. Like people act like the cl- bro, the club is four out is five hours out of a twenty four hour day. It's the smallest time of the day. Really so like what an I'm hour saying, and a half. <laughs> all, right, all right, exactly, because niggas go late. You know what right, I mean? Try yeah. to go to the let out type shit. Right. But I'm just saying, it's the small. So we determine we determine who's great or who's better only at at that metric, no, it's of a bro. During the day, you go through things, you listen to things, and okay. great music comes so, out. So ba- basically, I don't even mean to compare these two because Lotto is the shit too, hands down. I'm the shit, hands down. I be damn, but she's the shit. You don't know nothing about that that rap shit. Yeah, you don't New York nigga. You don't know nothing about. Just go ahead with your point. But no, 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 no. That's my that's my man from. But anyway, uh, Lotto has definitely. When we look at these, and we gotta look at cultural impacts, right? Rip me out the plastic. Everybody's on TikTok getting ripped out plastic bags. That's crazy. That's insane. But that that's what you determining that just is impact though. I'm giving her her flowers. Let yeah, me give her. Yeah, I'm good. saying when we talk about cultural impact is what what right. what, you talking what about have last, you, just last year though. That's all you talking in about. In the last year, yeah. I'm saying what have you done for me lately, right? And you got to give her respect. I feel like you can't deny that she had people in fucking trash bags ripping themselves out the plastic. That's cultural impact. I don't know nobody else who did that. So you got to give her that. You feel me? So I'm saying these two women probably just on the top. But everybody else, I mean, for the exception of Ice Spice, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like those are the, the, the Ice leading Spice group. Ice Spice has just as many, if not more, hits. Do you hear what I'm saying? Sexy Red, I'm saying that they're the leading group. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm but saying. That, but, but, that's what I'm, that, but that's the whole reason of the conversation. I'm on your side. I'm, 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 I'm on your side. I'm saying. We're nope. having a debate, though. It's not about who's on whose side. We but just have a debate. You swayed me over now. It ain't no debate no more. All I'm saying is. Those three. All right, man. Go ahead, something else. All I'm saying is those three. Those three you, are the, all, those three are the leading ladies, right? Yeah. So if you pick either one or either 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 one of the three, mm-hmm. you shouldn't knock any of them. So if somebody, I wouldn't. If, if if you chose Lotto, I'd be like, I guess whatever. You know what I'm saying? If I chose Sexy Red, it should be like, okay, cool. But I feel like it's not that energy now. People are picking Sexy Red and niggas is acting like niggas crazy for it. That's always been like that. Bro, I listen, I am old. Guess what it was like that for? Foxy Brown and Little Kim. Guess what it was like that for? Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj. It's old. Guess what it was like that for? Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. 
it's always with women. It's always picking this one or that. Even with even with men, it's the same shit. Everybody has they they favorite person. LeBron and Jordan, mm. fucking, you know what I mean? They, you throw KD in the mix, like you know what I mean? They don't talk about him the same way, but they throw him in the mix. They, and then those conversations change depending upon success and accolade. You feel me? Mm. Now the thing that I don't like about music is that it's totally predicated on what a person sells. Like you know what I mean? Like now, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like, bro, I've literally grew up watching niggas argue about other niggas' money, like who has more money, which is stupid to me because it'd be two broke niggas. You feel me? But I'm just, <laughs> I, I, I'm just keeping it a thousand, bro. Like, crazy. like when it comes to when, when back in my day, right? What I cared about was who was better. When it was a battle, the battle was about who was better. Who could Facts. say who could say the shit that was better than this person? Facts. That's who you went with, right? That was like that even in the lunchroom. And I know you went through that in the lunchroom. Everybody went through that growing yeah. up. So I'm just saying, like, bro, when it comes to music, like I remember I had this this conversation with with, with academics, right? And we was talking about uh we was debating about a versus between Jay Z and Drake. And his whole thing was like, Drake has more hot one hundred hip hop entries than anybody. And my whole thing was, that's cool, but like when I was growing up, nobody even knew what the fucking hot 100 hip hop entry was. And that didn't determine, that didn't determine whether you thought somebody was a better rapper than another person. Because if, if by that metric, bro, Nelly smacks mad niggas. Like if you, if you, like if you determine it only by a person making a, a hit record, now everybody should have a hit, you know what I mean? Wants to have hits or should have hits. If you determine it only by that, then majority of the the rap debates that we have is like null and void. So like, you think you think Jay Z is a better rapper, like actual lyricist than Drake? Yeah. And and look, and that's for my see, that's for my era and my time, right? Everybody thinks the person from their era is the best, bro. Your your kids, like your your kids, their era, they might be telling you. Well, oh, Yachty is the best. It, not even I'm talking. I'm about to give a basketball analogy, like when Benyama, bro. We about to come into a time where like almost a starting five is gonna be all seven foot niggas that could dribble and shoot and dunk from the three point line. So they gonna be saying like, "Yo, this nigga LeBron was trash." They are gonna be like, "Yo, LeBron was trash. He couldn't get seven. He couldn't average a triple double with blocks." So they, they by numbers they're gonna say, "Oh, he's not as good." You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that don't determine what I'm saying is like that doesn't necessarily determine was when it comes to skill set. No, you, so, you know it's funny like even because going back to the Drake and Jay Z thing. Mm -hmm. That's why I say I, I can understand why I'm, I can say music is subjective because personally, this nigga don't even know what he wants. Per to say no, I do know what I want to say. Personally, I feel like Drake is more creative than Jay Z when it comes to rapping, but rapping is just overall artistry. Rapping. Because I, because I would give you, I wouldn't give you that with rapping. I would give you that with like overall artistry because he sings. He's a R, he's just as good as an R and B singer as he is a rapper. So he has two things that he does that other people can't do. I'm, you know saying, I'm saying rapping. That's I my think, jacket, bro. I'm saying, I'm saying rapping. I think he's more creative. He's more a more creative rapper than Jay Z. But what what makes a creative rapper? Yeah, like he be talk, he be talking about some shit, and I feel like Jay. He remind me of this might be a bad analogy, but whatever. I feel like Jay remind me of Denzel Washington. And what I mean by that is like Denzel Washington is probably the greatest actor of all time, right? But if you look at it, if you want to be technical, all of his his um the parts he play in movies is pretty much the same. But that's mostly everybody. Not really. Not mostly everybody, but everybody Not does. really, because you say Will Smith. Will Smith has many different plays, many different parts. Yeah, that he but played. he hasn't. But but at the same time, who is all right with that analogy? Whose career would you rather have? Which and I, I'm exclude the bullshit. No, Denzel. Exactly. No, all right, all right. But that's what I'm saying. I'm, okay. No, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, and I'm not talking about Jay Z or Drake. Yeah, I'm talking about I'm saying. Denzel I'm saying I feel, like, or Will I feel Smith. like yeah. I'm saying I feel like Drake is more creative rapper than Jay. But me personally, I love Jay better because he speaks to my soul. Pause. That sounds crazy. No, it but doesn't. He speaks to like like. And it's funny because I was I was young, so I wasn't I don't remember Reasonable Doubt. I don't remember uh part two. Like I don't remember Bro, you be acting like you're not 30. No, something. no, I'm he saying I don't old. remember. Like I wasn't Of course you don't. Reasonable Doubt came out when and 96 even, or something. Reasonable Doubt came out when I was going to the eighth grade. So that's so, what so I, I get I get where you come so from. So that's with what that. I'm saying. I'm saying I became a Jay-Z fan late. Yeah. But even still. Yeah. Like that's that's how good of a rapper he was to yeah, me. Like yeah, yeah. I can't. I, but I think I, look, look, this is the thing. Uh, again, music is all subjective. Right, it's all subjective. 
what works for you, what's best for you is not going to be best for me every time and vice versa, right? Like, because it's certain shit that I could say, you said he's a better creative rapper. It's certain shit that Jay said, like, that flew over your head that you might not even know. Like Nigga J- said, look, my mind is infested with sick thoughts that circle like a Lexus. If driven wrong, it's sure to, it's sure to hurt you, right? At that time when them Lexuses came out, they were steering wheels was fucked up. So if you drove them shits wrong, they used to crash out crazy, right? Mm. Nigga said, I keep one eye open like CBS, right? Like, that's the logo of CBS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so look, see, for 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 me saying all of that, that works for me because that's crazy. No, that's and the hard. time I'm growing up, that's crazy. For another nigga, nigga might want to hear a nigga say some shit about the hoes. Like, you know what I mean? Like They might, might want to hear people say, Weezy F Baby and the F is for Phenomenal. That's what they might want to hear. But that, but I'm not going to regulate Wayne to that, bro. <laughs> You're not going to do that. Wayne is one of the greatest niggas that ever, ever, bro. He like, is, they he don't is. play with Wayne, bro. He is. He they is. don't do that. But, but nah, what all I'm saying is, nah, Jay, I fuck with Jay. But I was, I was comparing him to Denzel only because I feel like he's been, and I think he will say this. What? He's been really rapping about the same thing for a long time. Like, Ooh. Jay. Like, no, he hasn't. He bro. hasn't even a rap. He hasn't even been rapping. You mean, all right, when you say he's been rapping about the same. Yo, the bro. subject matter. I feel like what it's subject been, matter. Like getting money, like really giving niggas game. He, he, when Gail King asked him, "Yo, would you would you take uh, dinner with Jay Z or take the five hundred thousand? He like, I'm gonna take the five hundred thousand because everything is in my raps. I feel like it's been the same. Not saying I'm not saying that's dumb. I'm not dumbing it down. Just like Denzel, all of his parts been pretty much. But the you know, s- people say the same thing about Drake too. They say the same. No, they literally say the same exact. This is that's what he just went through when he dropped for all the dogs, bro. And this is why I be trying to figure out what planet you live on because my nigga, that's exactly what they and and, and, they say and get this. About the same thing. Yeah, what nigga? Yeah, they you, did. Am I bu- they Tell me did. if I'm bugging mm, the fuck out. They I, definitely did. I seen niggas playing him because he was rapping about some bullshit about like a bunch of eighteen year olds. Like that was crazy, but. Like I, no, I'm exclude, see, exclude. No, no, I ain't seen him saying right about the same thing. Even put context behind when you say the 18 year olds, he, when he starts was saying shit about streamers and all of that, no, right? No, he was talking, so he was talking about what? He rapping about 18 year old girls and shit. Like that's, he was not 18 year old girls, bro. What? On, Where you on been his, at? On this last album? Yes. Where you been at? You talking about I, me? No, I didn't bro, hear he nothing about. Bro, he talking about a girl. Is she 21 I, or like she like not 18, like she 21? She 23 or some shit like that. He been that's that's it. Am I tripping? Y'all ain't listening to this? No, I heard I heard that also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, no, no that's, 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 that's twenty talking. something and eighteen is two different worlds. Twenty one and eighteen is the fucking same. We're not even gonna go to that conversation. Is it not? We're not gonna Wait, go to no. that. We're not. Listen, I'm not Wait, about no. to. I'm not. I have a 21 year old daughter. We're not gonna. We're not, insane. we're not gonna have that. We're not gonna have that conversation because we. I don't want to stray away from what we're talking about. Okay, right? go ahead. Bro, but that's what that's what I heard. When Drake about that just dropped this album, he was getting killed for for people saying that he nigga. We talked about it the first episode you had me on your shit. When they talked, they said that he don't have no depth. They said that he don't talk about shit. This nigga's a father, and he don't be talking about this. Is that he was getting killed for the same shit? And it happened. Listen, it happens to everybody. I used to say this to everybody because, bro, when I was growing up being a Jay Z fan, mm-hmm. it got to the point where. Jay is still the best nigga to me, and people that's younger like that nigga ain't better than Wayne. Or he ain't be-. and and I said this. I said this on. I did Charlemagne's uh, brilliant idiots. I did one of his brilliant idiots is me, him, and Nyla Simone, and we was talking about whose time was it, and this was in 2020, and I said, "Yo, it's shifting to little baby," you know what I mean? And and he was like, he didn't. I don't. I don't think he understood what I was saying at the moment, and that's because. I gauge, I don't gauge everything by my kids, but bro, we all remember what it's like to be a young teenage kid, right? Get rich or die trying. I remember. All right. That's the when one thing Get I remember. Rich or die trying came out. You was a teenager? I probably was like 11, 12. I don't know. 11, even 11, 12. I don't know, but. 11, 12. Isn't it? Now look, couldn't nobody tell you nothing about 50 Cent at that time? I might have been older. Yeah, nah. But no, whatever time it was, I remember that time. You, and what I'm saying is nobody yeah. could tell you nothing about 50 at that time. Nobody, right? No. Right? Mm. It comes a point where even 50, people started phasing him out. Because in rap, bro, it's the only shit where we get rid of our elders. Now that Drake, Drake is almost forty years old, so now like people is trying to pick, trying to pick him apart so, to everything he so ate versus everything he's done. But him not talking about nothing and him talking about the same thing is not what I was. I'm saying mm-hmm. Jay, right? I think again, I'm not trying to. I hope this don't sound like I'm trying to slight Jay because I'm saying Jay and Denzel was the same. But what happened is because somebody the great, they can't pick out the flaws. Like Denzel is everybody oh, has like, flaws. Like Denzel is the greatest actor in my perspective of all time, right? Okay. But I can't ignore it and say that 
He's played. He's only played one role in every single movie. But nah, all of those you roles pretty been, no, been pretty good. No, 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 yo, he played the that. alpha male. The like the bro, that the, nigga the, played the, Malcolm X. Bro. Well, hold on, hold on, hold, wait, 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 hold, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. You got to think about depth and character when you talk about film. Now I say that in in Denzel's latter of his career, he's done a lot of like action, like from man on man on fire and equalizes basically the, the same. The alpha nigga. male. The, the the man that commands the room, mm -hmm. right? He's played the same character and every he's never played no gay man. He's no, never you don't like, have to play a gay no, man to be but great. Will Smith had, no, that's not you're not yeah. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying he's only played one character in all his movies for the most part, okay. right? But every single movie in my perspective been great. I don't give if it's the same or not. Okay. I think he's that good. Okay. I feel like to play one character in everything and still be that great, that shows how great you are. Okay. I'm comparing it to Jay Z. I feel like the last, what, what was the the, the, the last four, four, verse? Four. Oh, four, no, not, last not the album. album. The verse he did with uh, uh God DJ did. Cal, God did right. I heard that verse two or three times before. The same verse and different different layout. The same verse. I've heard uh, you it mean like times. so. So you mean like the subject matter? The like sub, the, that's the what subject I said. Matter. The subject, but it, it shows but, how but good he same, is. Though. But, but at the same time, it's like. But it shows how good he is. I'm not taking nothing away from Jay, bro. I'm not. Yeah, I I'm, listen, I'm not trying to turn this into a fucking Jay-Z fan fest. You know what I mean? Like, by no means. I don't mind, because I fuck with Jay. Like, I, like, and, and I say, like, I... like I. So, let me ask you this question, because you're a very, very big Meek fan. Do you feel like people put... Because I feel like people would say the same thing about Meek. People have been saying... People what do they say been, about Meek? That he's been saying the same shit. They, they say... Oh, bro, every artist... Now, look. I think that... This is how this music, just where rappers goes, mm -hmm. right? In rap, you should have depth. You should change. The reason why I don't say that Jay's been saying the same shit is because if you look through his albums and you look at his ages, you can see things that he's changed. Yeah, a nigga might throw, let's say, way less crack references or way less hustling from a street perspective um, thing or change the, the hustling to a corporate way so that you can understand it from a different point of, of, point of view. For you to digest it, but like it's changed, right? Right? You got if you look at Blueprint, mm -hmm. Blueprint, he starts the album with beef. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, pause. Like he starts the album beefing with niggas. Yeah, he uh, attacks everybody. Um, he attacks with Nas. Yeah, he, with the M song, Renegade. This is wasn't why that I can't on have the, no. Uh, wasn't that, that wasn't no. That he wasn't. This is nobody on there. On Renegade. So let me I, listen. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. I just have to say this one thing. I just have to say this one thing. And if and if you don't know what song I'm talking about, I don't want to talk about. No, wait, no. wait, 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 wait. I'm closing my eyes because I'm trying don't to finish my answer though. You said Renegade. He wasn't. He wasn't talking about nobody on Renegade. That's what he started that album with. No, I'm asking. No, I said Renegade. He was talking about somebody on Renegade. I said that. Who I was he talking about on Renegade? Bro, I don't know. He was Jay Z. Bro, he was talking about not Nas on Renegade. Bro, oh my fucking. Am God. I tripping? This is when I'm trying. Listen, this is why I just said. Listen, I'm, look I want to look, look. I want to look directly in the camera. This is why I want to look, look directly up, in the camera, bro. Because I just said that Jay Z's Blueprint album. He started the album with beef. Pause. I'm pause that again. And then I added Renegade. Wait a second. This nigga said Renegade with Blueprint. That he started the album off with beef. What's Jay Z's biggest diss song that he's ever made in his career? Sheesh. Exactly. This is, is it the one? Wait, I don't know, but I know he got the uh, the beef song. What? I don't. That's not the biggest because I don't. That was something I had to look up. But the song he did uh, about Mace when Mace dissed him on a singing track. That's not the biggest, but I'm like, oh that's one. I'm God, naming him, bro. This bro, what the fuck? Take over. T my bad. I apologize. Take over. That's what I meant to say. You wildin', bro. Take over. I meant to say. Yeah, no, I you're apologize. wild. Like you're uh, you're out of my bro. You out of bounds. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I apologize. My bad. You want to? I was thinking of take over, cause bro. No, wait. Oh my. The, no, let's just go to something else, bro. Can we talk about no, something no, hold else? No, no, bro. Can we talk wait, about something why? else, bro? bro For real. I, I don't mind being. It's okay, bro. It's relaxed. Now you making me feel Renegade crazy. Song. No, I don't. Renegade the song he did with Eminem, right? Yes. Did he not? Was he not talking about somebody on Renegade? He was take over. That's what I'm talking about. Then I'm sorry. Take over. Take over was on a blueprint. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. My bad. What, bro? 
that's on the blueprint, right? It's take over or take over not on a blueprint. It is, bro. So I mean, it, it, that could be a easy. That's a mistake, bro. That was a that was a it was a fucking mistake. That's, if you was a if, nigga, if you if we was on Wheel of Fortune, we be no. If we was on Jeopardy, bro. We but be we out. not on Jeopardy. We fucking talking about hip hop. Is Jeopardy every day, nigga. What <laughs> you talk about? <laughs> hip hop is Jeopardy every fucking day. Are you crazy? Oh. This shit is Jeopardy, nigga. Oh my bad. Every day. Well, y'all was talking about takeover. All right. So t- so. My bad. I apologize. All yeah. Right, so on Blueprint, you you, you talk about takeover. That's what I, I apologize, bro. Right. You're right. That's what I that's what it's I meant to say. It's all good. It's all good. Let's just let's, so let's move on to some. No, 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 no. Let's stay there. Let's stay there. Let's stay there. Let's move on. Let's man. stay there. Let's stay there. Let's stay there. <laughs> what's, what, what's your thoughts on takeover? What do you mean? What's my thoughts on it? What's your thoughts on takeover? It was a great. It was a great disc record, but it wasn't better than either. Everybody knows that. Like that's not even if that's the act. Say it. <laughs> no, say it. You're on a mic, pause, so it's like people can hear it. Niggas say it wasn't think, a. Ba- it wasn't a. In the grand scheme of things, bro. Ether, <laughs> are you crazy? Let me tell you something, bro. Ether became. I don't know what the word. Uh, my, and it became a pro, like a, 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 a yeah a, 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 a noun a verb or something. A verb, like that. Yeah, like, it became. You can, e- ether became. They put it in it like I don't know if they put it in a dictionary, but ether became like a verb. The, it became like the utmost way to disrespect yeah, somebody. Like that, ether that's how crazy. No, ether was crazy, my yeah. nigga. But Insane. I think because he said fuck Jay Z, I think that was probably one of the first times. Like no, when, it's, it's not that, bro. It's 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 not, bro. It's like it's that that record is. Insane. I bro. really like Takeover, bro. Me too. I'm I sorry. love Takeover. I really like Takeover. Takeover is amazing. Like I really like Takeover. Takeover is amazing. That's why I was excited when I said Renegade. But I really like Takeover. Like that yeah, was. Yeah, but you not know. But you thinking Renegade is Takeover me, is insane. Me miss, bro. Me. Nah, bro. Miss speaking it's, it's, on a song on the same album, bro. That's, no, no, that, no, no, no. no they, 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 they that can't ever get done. That, not that's like not, that. Not like that. Not like that. Come on, bro. Not like that. Okay, cool. Not I'll like take that. it. What you talking about Meek Mill? Whatever. No, I said I said do people say the same thing about Meek that he says the same thing. How do you uh, look, how do you feel about it? Because you know, no, let's talk about it on some G shit. Let's yeah. talk about it. Like, how do you feel about everything that's been going on with Meek? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. All jokes aside. All jokes aside. I feel so. I feel two ways, and so I feel. Um, not disappointed, but like, like I, I feel hurt by it. Hurt by what? About how they how they doing Meek? Oh, how people are doing him? Yeah, yeah. I okay. feel hurt on one sense, but on another sense, it's like, bro, I don't know these niggas. Like you know these niggas, I don't know these niggas. So I remember, like, when I was doing radio a while back, uh, I when the Fab and Emily B shit came out, I was distraught. I was like hurt, and my my engineer was that like, was bro, kinda weird to be hurt about. No, okay. because like I looked at Fab, and, like I fuck with Fab, right. and to see him do some shit, whatever. Some accused shit. I'm like, bro, that's weird. Niggas don't do that. But I was hurt because I'm like, damn, like I wanna like Fab. Why the fuck that happened, right? And, and my engineer was like, bro, you don't know these niggas. Why the fuck you care so much? Like they regular people. They can do fucked up shit. Yeah, like but, anybody we, but else. everybody, like we we do ha- people. I think it's it's ridiculous, not for you to say, but I'm just saying, like for people to think that we don't have love for celebrities. We all love. We everybody loves celebrities for what they love them for. You know yeah. what I mean? Like for me, I love Kobe Bryant, bro. Like. Michael Jordan, you know, even Braun, like I love, I love KD, like I, 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 basketball is my thing. So it's like once I every year I find a, a player, like a new player that comes into the league, like it's like yeah, they celebrity who they are. Now I don't base that on how I feel personally about them, but I finish your thoughts. But no, I'm, I'm gonna tell I was you saying, what I think that's about. That's I was saying, but because, because ever since he said that, I always looked at things like differently. Differently, you feel me? So what's the other way you feel? But the like, so the the other way is like, man. I don't know this man, like, who, who gives a fuck? Like, he's a regular person just like all of us. But the real fan of me is hurt because I really, I really got a love for Meek Mill. Like, yeah. I feel like he's done, and I said this with DJ Drummer, I don't give a fuck. Niggas try to kill me on line about this. I don't care. Yeah. I feel like Meek has done something that no other rapper done for the trenches. I don't give a fuck, and I stand on that hill. Okay. And that's really show us, like, he... He really came, became a superstar, mm-hmm. right? When he from signing to uh, MMG to bagging Nicki Minaj to prison reform to all these things, he's he's done this from the streets, and he Most always. Most importantly, he's made good music and make good, really good music. Yeah, but I'm saying like that adds to your fame. And when you're a nigga from the streets, from the trenches, like all of that matters, bro. Like, so I get what you're saying, but from the, when you're from the trenches, like all of that matters because we all want to be, we all got. Hoop dreams, for lack of better words, right? Yeah, That's yeah. to make it and they own right. Everybody in their own right got a a way they see themselves, and when you yeah. got a nigga that you can identify with, exactly. All right, so look, look, this. That's how, what I'm saying. Like, I, 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 honestly, bro, like, 
and I said this on Twitter, like Meek, my like that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying like like Meek, I call him a brother. I would I would go as far as to say Meek is a brother to me. You know mm. what I'm saying? Does that does that mean that I spend time with him all the time? No, I don't even see Meek a lot. I don't talk to him all the time. But like we got a brotherhood that when I it's love. As long as I don't, if I see that nigga right now, he gonna treat me like I was with him yesterday. You mm. feel me? I think that like what's crazy about the internet is. Anything could be said about you, and if people don't like you, they'll they'll run with it. Facts. Cause cause this is the thing, bro. I do not believe. Now I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Is there weird shit that goes on in and not just in music, but in life? Yes. There's weird shit going on at Target. There's weird shit going on everywhere. But I don't believe that about my nigga. I'm just keeping a hundred. I, I don't believe think that about so my nigga. Either. But I don't. Think what so I either. don't like is that a person who is this little ride guy, right? Who said first it was like Puff was taking his his publishing and this that, and the third and then it turned from Puff taking his publishing to Puff tried to do something sexual with him or something then it turned into yo it's alleged that he I don't understand why there's so much merit and it's so much belief placed in a person that nobody knows nobody knows but the thing about it you said you see how they, I don't like the way they they doing meek bro they do meek like that every time something happens on the internet like any anything that happens that's not in his favor is so always... I'm a critical nigga right so mm -hmm. as much as I show my love to meek I'm gonna be real yeah meek shoot himself in the foot all the time because he he talks too much on Twitter like the dip like let's be real I love Drake right mm -hmm. but nobody is fucking perfect and I can speak on imp imperfections all I want yeah Drake is a corny nigga bro He's corny as hell, bro. Okay. But when he got some shit to say, he gets it off in his music. So he listened to it. And it's like, okay, it still could be corny, but he gets that shit off in his music. Meek, on the other hand, gets it off on Twitter. <laughs> if he would just get it off in the music, now we got to listen to the music. Yeah, I think I think Meek's worst enemy is his phone. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's his, his worst enemy is his phone. But I think, like, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, everybody got their path for how they run their shit. You feel me? And I, what I don't like, what, that's the only thing I don't like is, like, bro, even with the Diddy shit, you know why the Diddy shit is a thing every day? It's because people don't like Diddy. They yeah. like, like it's it's that simple. People just don't like the nigga. Like when when everybody doesn't like somebody, and and because people gonna say, no, people love Diddy. No, they don't. There's people who hate Diddy for like I I was on live one day and I was saying this. Majority of the people who feel the way about how Diddy does business probably have never seen a contract he's ever done. Probably has never, never seen a contract he's ever done, and probably never will. And sometimes I haven't. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I ain't seen none of his contracts neither. But I'm pretty sure that a lot of the contracts that people have problems with or whatever is the same contracts a lot of other motherfuckers give out. But that's the thing. With, real quick, let me. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, with that being said, people don't like him for this. They don't like him for that. They don't like him for this. They didn't like the fact that he was a 50-year-old something nigga dating a, a a woman the age of one of his kids. They didn't like that, that that during that he had a kid. They didn't like that while, you know, with, with the stuff with all this stuff alleged about Kim Porter and all this reckless stuff, he still was having all these kids and he had all his baby. Then the Cassie thing happened. And once the Cassie thing happened and it looked like something, that was the first time people seen something like that they probably thought was solid, right? Nobody knows if that shit was real or not, right? But everybody was like, all right, here's a fucking thing. And he settled. When he settled fast, it's two things. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, she was just looking to get a payout. Let's say that she really went through a lot of that traumatic shit that she talked about. We'll never know one or the other. But people was the, the payout was an admission of guilt to people. Mm. A lot of people pay for lawsuits to motherfuckers that they never met in their life. Now, I'm not saying that this is the case because he was with that girl for 10 years. So I'm pretty sure in 10 years and relationships, shit happens. Crazy shit might happen. I don't know. I've never been through no crazy shit in that realm. But people always been looking for a reason to not like this nigga. And at the point, because look, everybody was celebrating the nigga when he just came out with that fucking song. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The, with the Bryson Tiller and all that, when he came out with the Love album and all that, niggas been waiting for one moment. I feel, you're right. I think, um, but a lot of times, a lot of that come with ignorance. So to go to your everybody hate, I feel like, in my perspective, I feel like everybody hate on the greats in general. Mm -hmm. Like, we talk about LeBron, Kobe, we talk about uh, Jordan, we talk about Tom Brady. I feel like when you're doing something 
on a high level at a consecutive pace, it's like, bro, I'm tired of you. Unless you're a fan of them, I'm tired of you. No, give, people want give you to my fall. Si- yeah, give my, si- give my team a chance to win. Yeah. And I feel like that with the greats. Diddy has been one of them greats. And when I think about it, and I mean, I, I might age myself, but I don't care. I feel like Diddy came from Motown, right? Like he was an intern at Motown or... Like he was a, uptown. Mo- uptown. Yep, Uptown. He was, yeah. a, he was an intern at Uptown. So I feel like he was able to get... Because like, he was working with, uh, what's the guy named Harrell? He worked with Heavy D. He worked with Andre Harrell. Andre he Harrell. Mary J. Blige. And I feel he like, with... but no, before before uh, Mary J. Blige, I feel like he was able to get that experience at a young age. So before he even came, before he even started Bad Boy, he had experience in like being an executive, a music executive. So a lot, of, so of course, a lot of the contracts is going to look like the contracts that come from music labels because but he just came bit, from bro, that. Music contracts in general, bro. Music contracts in general, like. And I say this all the time, bro. Like, and it's not just music contracts. It's any business you do. It's about leverage. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, if I if somebody say, Yo, Wayno, you know what? I want to give you a podcast deal, right? And I say, they like, yo, we think you talented. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm talented too. And they say, yo, we think you talented. We want you a podcast deal. And I say, oh, all right. I want a million dollars for my podcast deal. They're gonna be like, a million dollars. Yeah, I want a million dollars. Huh? That's the, can I make fifty off of him? <laughs> That's how they're gonna look at it. No, 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 not even that. They're gonna say, "What have you done?" Like I'm, I, I do want to work with you, and I do want to give you opportunity. But what have you done to legitimize you asking for the million? Mm-hmm. And with people's own personal talent, they always gonna feel like they're worth the highest amount. For sure, right? They always gonna feel like they worth the highest amount. But the problem that sets in is motherfuckers not knowing business. So business is about leverage. If if you go into a bank. And you go to a bank and you say, yo, listen, I got this franchise that I want to open. Um, it's going to cost me $80,000, you know what I mean, to open. It's going to cost me $80,000 to open. It's going to cost me another, like, twenty five to get, let, let's say, twenty to get it to, to the construction. And it's going to take me another fifty to get it to open a day. And that's $150,000, right? And you go into the bank and you ask them that. You know what the bank is going to say? Okay, show us your portfolio, right? Mm-hmm. Show us that... You have a business, not that you got a job and you make a certain amount of money. Show us that you got a fucking business, that you've made money, that we know how we going to get our money back. Because we're get, like, then it comes down to your business credit, right? Mm-hmm. You ain't got no business credit. So with, with everything I said, I still might feel like, yo, all I got to do is get this. If you give me this shot, I'm going to get it. And you like, well, you don't really have like the credentials. You don't have to. So, again, what legitimizes it. And a lot of times when it comes to record deals and record contracts, bro, it be a nigga that, like, yeah, don't get me wrong. Yeah, your mother think you the best because you her son or you're her daughter. Yeah, no, right. yeah, your block think you the best because you from that block. But what about that block? Does, does, does that block over there think you the best? Yeah. And, and, and those contracts usually... Now, don't, I'm not going to say that record labels or production deals don't fuck people over because they do. Because that's the whole thing. It's to get it for as cheap as you can to sell it at the highest premium. Yeah. But at the same time, if you ain't got no leverage, what the fuck do you expect but that's to what get? I'm saying, but that's what I'm saying about Diddy. I feel like he came from that that background so he had understanding and knowledge when a lot of people don't have that well, knowledge. Just, you get what I'm saying? That's yeah, what yeah. The, like, so, of course, it's going to look and weird. And with everything we said, I'm going to keep it 100. If people have gone through some real shit in that situation, allegedly or whatever... I'm not trying to minimize what they've gone through. Because oh, no, that's another sure. thing, bro. Yeah. Like, when you start getting to talking about shit like this, people will start, like, oh, yeah, but you trying to, like, this person said that they went through this or that, and y'all trying to, nah, we're not jumping over nah, nothing. We ain't, we ain't even you know getting, we talking about the business of him and artists. Like, nah, yeah. that shit, his personal life. But I'm just saying, bro, people yeah, don't like nah, it for nah. a lot of reasons, bro. Yeah, but, when it was like, alleged that he got Tupac killed. You know what I'm saying? Because that 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 came into play with what, what Keefe D was saying. Yeah, he paid bread to get Tupac killed, and this is down the third. Bro, it's a lot of reasons why motherfuckers don't like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's me? a fact. And once you once they get that that fucking that moment where they could just run with that, they running with it. Yeah, no, nah, I, I mean, yeah, that's a sticky, that's a slippery slope. Facts. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't know, if none of this shit is true, but that's why I said my my engineer told me if it is, fuck, he's just another slimy. Bro, you too. know what? I just mind my business, bro. Like, I mind my it's fucking business. It's hard to business. mind your business in this industry. No, it ain't. Because we got to talk about this is our job. No, but it's not hard to mind your business, though. See, talk, reporting something and, and not minding your business is two different things. What's the difference? Talk to me. Reporting on something is is like, all right, and see, you you right. I'm not saying that you're wrong, but the the, the form of like, if there's, a, if there's something that happens mm-hmm. and we talk about what happened, then we just talking about a report. Right. Not minding your business is digging into the shit 
and then coming up with your own conclusions based on shit that you don't oh, know. Yeah, nah, that's, or, yeah, that's not minding your business. Yeah, See, in this industry, bro, I mind my fucking business. I'm going to keep it 100. I ain't never had no weird shit happen to me. Ain't no nigga ever came to me, tried me on no gay shit and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, like that's because I stay out the way. I don't be trying to be in the mix or you none know, of that. Them alphabet boys like niggas that stay out the way. That don't have nothing to do with me. I'm fucking with you, bro. I mean, I have nothing to do with me. <laughs> we I, don't, get out. I don't even play like that. Nah, like, fact. Yeah. No, no cap. Like, yeah. like listen. Yeah. Just please, just stay, stay yeah, where stay you at. Way, you know what I'm saying? Fact. Just stay where you at. You can be ABC, I'll be one, two, three. It's just... Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> we got to get out of here, man. I got this interview coming up, man. Right. Appreciate this. It's good. We're going to do this again in two weeks. It don't have to be two weeks. Yeah, why not? What you mean? Pull up whenever. Just, you know what I mean? Just make sure, you know, you 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 the nigga that got to steam your curls before you come in and all that. You know what yo, I mean? So, yo, we out of here, though, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Jay Hill and Wayno. Jay Hill. Uh, Jay Hill featuring Wayno. No, no. Jay, Jay Hill uh, co-hosted by Wayno. No, I ain't his co-host. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga. <laughs>